Michaela, and you are watching a Fun Size Style. Today's video is going to be very surprising to a lot of you, or pretty much all of you, if you don't follow me on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know this. It's so much easier and quicker to update on Instagram than it is on YouTube, so I'm sorry that you guys here on YouTube tend to find things out last. But I have not divulged any of this on any of my previous videos or updates or anything. I'm a little backlogged on videos just because things have been so crazy. I have not in the physical or like mental capacity to be able to film and keep you guys posted here on YouTube and like actually feel well enough to film, edit, and upload just because of how crazy things have been. If you guys are watching this, my big, big, big Spinal fusion surgery is tomorrow. My spinal fusion surgery is December 23rd. It is crazy to me that like I have reached this point. I have described this to people as the quickest, longest three months of my life. I don't know what video is going up before or after this video, but I am disconnected from attraction. Again, I don't know what video, what order these videos are going up. If you have not seen that video or if it's not up yet, I will explain in a video why I am disconnected. I This is not typical to be disconnected from halo attraction before surgery. I faced complications towards the end of this. My team had me disconnect from traction. I don't want to say too much in this video about that because that for another video my progress was not for nothing and it's still, the halo attraction still did what it needed to do to prepare me for spinal fusion surgery and it was still such a pivotal part of this journey for leading up to, to spinal fusion surgery. When you guys are watching this Tuesday and Wednesday, December 23rd, I will be going into spinal fusion surgery. And it's crazy to me that I reached, I don't want to say the end of this journey because, well the end of this halo attraction journey, like I look at myself with this halo on and it's just, I'm really bummed because I haven't been able to film a lot of the videos that I wanted to film as part of somebody to help me physically like film those videos and my parents have not allowed any of my friends to come in to my home. Like this is my circumstances right now and like it's content that I'm out on um, filming. I tried to film as many things for you guys and share as much as I could in the capacity that I was able but I hope even just simply sitting here talking about this and help somebody because you guys know I say this in literally every Halo Attraction related video. When my team and I first discussed this journey a year ago, almost two years ago, two years ago, I went to YouTube and nobody with Osteogenesis Imperfecta that talked about Halo Attraction. Dozens and dozens of individuals with Osteogenesis Imperfecta have undergone Halo Attraction, but nobody has documented their journey as, public, as publicly as I have, um, and I want to be that resource for because I take away some of the fear of the unknown um, because it, this does look barbaric. It's going to be really cool for me to look back on these videos see how much I've overcome and in these updates. I hear myself describe all these things that I've gone through. I can't wait to, to be in front of the camera where I'm telling you guys how my spinal fusion surgery went and how much it's improved my quality of life. I just remember two years ago when my team brought this up and now when you guys are seeing this I'm less than 24 hours away from undergoing like the biggest day of my life. I did just want to explain a few things. Uh, yes, it's I will be in the hospital for Christmas. We'll see in another video. I was actually not scheduled to have this until January 18th. Again, I don't know what order you're seeing this video, if that update is already up or not. I was scheduled to have this January 18th, but because of the complications that I faced towards the end, I my team needed to move my surgery up like right away. Basically, so that I don't lose progress for what I've undergone the past 12 weeks. Um, I was, I literally had to disconnect from traction the day of my 12 week mark. So I was literally in heel attraction for 12 weeks exactly, uh, which is pretty crazy. Yes, I did choose the state. Team gave me the option and they knew, and of course, like all these specific people, like my surgeon went through and handpicked all these specific people that she wanted present in the OR because such a high risk, high complicated case there's very specific people and that she wants and she like went through and handpicked all these people but then those people can only be there on certain days our choices were very limited that's what i chose and i was okay with it i will actually be going to the surgery 
with some friends instead of my parents um, because of COVID. My parents feel that it's safest to be here at home rather than in the hospital for an extended period of time. And I totally respect that and I think that it will also be very like empowering to do it by myself. All my friends like work at this hospital and like I just have so much support. So I definitely will not be alone by any means. Like I have two very close friends that are going to be with me in this very vulnerable journey. I have friends like that that are literally gonna see you at the worst point in your life. These volumes of like their friendship. This is a big ordeal. It's the biggest day of my life. I obviously don't know the outcome of what it will be. Um, I don't know how successful it will be, but I have faith that God hasn't brought me through these 12 weeks for nothing. These 12 weeks of pain and challenges every single day, the most challenging 12 weeks of my life. I have faith that this won't be for nothing and that he will perform a miracle and make sure that the hardware stays. Like that is our biggest, at least I think for me, like my biggest, not worry because I shouldn't worry. And I guess it's like, will the hardware stay in my spine because my spine is like mush, which is how I got to this point in the first place. I have faith that like these 12 weeks were not for nothing and he wouldn't have brought me this far to not bring me through the whole way of this process. As I filmed my last few videos, this halo on my head, like I look at myself and I'm like, I have screws in my head. Like, I can't get over this. It's almost exactly 14 weeks with screws that you could probably buy at the hardware store in my skull. And I like people have said, oh, you're so strong. And I'm like, okay, yeah, like, that's really sweet. Like, thank you. And I've never thought that anything I've ever done is really a big deal or anything special. But the journey has taught me how strong I am. Like I learned so much about myself, strength that God has given me to get through each day. There were some days that I was, how did I possibly get through today? Because it was just that horrible or just that painful or whatever happened during that. Look back at these 14 weeks, I just think and I look at these screws in my skull and I just look at how much I've overcome. I've overcome more in 14 weeks than most people do in a year. Um, and I'm so grateful for that. I'm so proud of that because I put my all into this. Like, I know my team knows that I have too and they have said over and over again like how dedicated and determined I am to do my part to make work like this. It's dedication and strength and commitment, no other, and sacrifice. I have sacrificed the past 14 weeks of my life, just this. Um, and so that says a lot. I'm not usually one to toot my own horn, but I, my strength to get through this can inspire you um, to get through whatever you're going through. I'll deal with something. The only difference between mine and maybe yours is mine is obviously much more visible. So glad that I've taken dozens throughout the past 14 weeks of this journey and I've taken pictures of of these appointments of this day. Like, I never want to forget this journey and I don't know like what video you guys are seeing first so a lot of this I may have already said in previous videos so I apologize but because you guys are seeing this like the day before my surgery I wanted to say those things but yeah those are kind of the thoughts that I have in my mind as I let you guys know that tomorrow is my surgery when you're watching this again I haven't I never divulged any of that in my previous updates or anything like that like it happened rather quick I've known for a, about a week now well they're fairly confident that I will need a blood transfusion um like usually though like every surgery even if you really won't need a blood transfusion, you have to consent to a blood transfusion if that's something that you want. Um, but this time, even like at my pre-op appointment ahead of time, they had me consent to a blood transfusion and um, because that's how likely it is that I will need that. So I just want to say thank you to blood donors out there because you are helping be part of this life-saving endeavor. So I just want to say thank you. I have always wanted to donate blood but because I have received in the past and I will be receiving again and it just makes me sad that I can't give back in that way. But I'm grateful for all the blood donors out there. So thank you if you are a donor or or have donated in the past. My two friends will be there. I'll be by myself on Christmas. I think I have a friend coming on Christmas Eve 
to visit. I don't really know. Um, but I think I'll be by myself in Christmas, which is like totally fine. Like I'm willing to sacrifice one Christmas for like many more to come. It's gonna be the most wild Christmas of my life. It feels like oh, the journey is coming to an end. Like the halo journey itself is like when I wake up from my spinal fusion surgery, I won't have my halo anymore. Like this journey is far from over. Like I've been told many times that this is going to be a very long and difficult recovery. I don't know how long. I don't know how difficult. Um, every patient responds very differently. Um, but due to the severity, my spine, we imagine that it will be lengthy and difficult. My surgeon is going to try and straighten my spine as much as possible, but really to prevent me from getting worse. But I know that God per performs miracles, and so I ask you to specifically pray, specific prayer request that she's able to straighten my spine more than she ever imagined because the more that she is able to straighten it rather than just stabilize it, the better my quality of life will be, like, down the line, like, for years to come. You guys know I'm spending first Christmas in the hospital, and so I feel extra grateful this year for healthcare heroes out there that sacrifice their holidays to take care of patients like me. That's another thing that this journey has taught me is there is so much in this life that we can't do alone, but what a gift it is that God has given us each other so that we can be there for those, like, for each other. And it's, I don't know, I have so many thoughts, but um, thank you guys for with me literally every step of the way. Like, I'm gonna do a whole separate video about my thoughts on this journey. So stay tuned for that video. Even though you're seeing this video like the day where my spinal fusion at surgery, you're going to be seeing more videos with me in my halo after this video because it's gonna be pre-filmed videos my halo on it if that makes sense i don't know but anyway i want to let you guys know that like the scariest most most rewarding my life is tomorrow and i have a whole team that their whole day is dedicated to me and that anyways i just wanted to say surprise and i hope you guys have a very merry christmas and see you guys and when i see you there may not be a video for like a month i don't know like in january i may not be able to film at all. I don't know. This Halo journey has been so crazy. I was not able to pre-film a ton. I'm sorry, but like this is like a life-saving endeavor. So like, this has to come. First. I'm gonna be doing a, a lot of separate video. Well, not a lot. Do as many as I can fit in about like how I feel about this journey. I'm so grateful for it and just all the things I haven't talked about yet. Stay tuned for those. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for joining me in prayer for the biggest day of my life. You guys have shown up for me in ways that I never imagined. Tomorrow is going to be the biggest, most important day of my life. I've done all I can. Life is worth fighting for, you guys. I put up one heck of a fight, and the fight continues as I go to the next journey. Life is worth fighting for. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!